Hey guys, today I have a long overdue video for you of me unrooting my HTC Incredible and showing you guys how to do it. This is very long overdue, one of the most popular questions I get, and uh, I'm finally going to show you guys how to do it. So, first thing you're going to need is your phone, obviously, the USB cable, and this lovely file from my website, thejustinmurphy.com slash unroot dash HTC dash INC. The link is in the description, and basically you're going to go to the website, you're going to download the file right there. And if you guys want to donate, you can. If not, that is fine, too. So uh, once you get the file, it's going to, it's about 180 megabytes, and you're going to open it up. You're going to see sn.zip and unroot.zip. You're going to want to unzip both uh, once, and you'll have the sn folder and the unroot folder. The unroot will have a pb31image.zip. We'll deal with that later. But the first thing we want to do is turn the security back on our device so that they can see that it's not been tampered with. So, let's do that. Basically, you want to plug in your HTC Incredible. I don't know what mod you guys are running or anything, so you want to turn it on. And you want to go under the USB, and you want to turn on the USB storage so that you can get to your SD card. So there's my SD card. We're going to open that up, put that right there, open up the file that I just closed for some reason. We're going to do the S on, and we're going to drag the S on right onto the root of this SD card here. So not in any folders, just on it, and I already have it in there. So we're going to replace it again. And there we go, we can close those, turn off the USB storage. Just take a second. There we go. Alright, and then we're going to unplug our phone, go back there, and we want to reboot into recovery. So we're going to do that. Now if you guys don't know, once again, um, getting into recovery, you would hold down the volume button and uh, the power button at the same time, but I just used uh, the fancy little reboot into recovery from... Uh, Synergy mod, but you don't have to do that. So we're going to go to install zip from SD card right there. It should be the fifth option down. This is Clockwork Recovery 3.0.0.5, so it is the newest one, and I must say it looks pretty schnazzy. If you guys have an older one, it's the same menu, just uh, not orange. So we're going to go choose zip from SD card, second option down on the second page, and we're going to look for something at the bottom. Okay, unrevoked dash forever dash s on dot zip. So it's the very bottom one for me, and uh, we're gonna, just gonna click that. Going to go e to yes. They have like ten options and one yes, so click the yes option, and it'll do its magical little thing. So there we go. S is back on. Now we're going to reboot the phone. Uh, so we're going to go back. No. Alright, we're going to go back. There we go. And we're going to reboot the system. And we're going to turn it back on. And we're going to go back into the SD storage and deposit the PB31 image file. So there is obviously there's the file right there. And uh, I don't know why it's named PB31IMG, but that is the only name that the phone recognizes when it boots up into HBoot. So, that is what it is named. Um, so make sure it's named that. And uh, in a second here, we're going to put that right on. Oh no, it's my secret passcode. Alright, so, like I said, we're going to put the pb31image.zip onto the root of our SD card. So we're going to plug our phone back in. Yes, that is a kitty picture as my background. Um, there's actually a really long story behind that, and uh, we're going to avoid talking about that. <laughs> so, as our, my phone slowly boots up, preparing the SD card. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, I'm going to turn on USB storage again, 
and we're going to put the PB31 image dot zip right on the root of the SD card. It has to go on the root, otherwise this will not work. Um, this is the crucial point. You want to make sure your battery is charged plenty um, so that it, you don't have to worry about it going out. Mine is probably just about 60%, which isn't, you know, optimal, but you know, you don't want the battery running out at this stage uh, of the uh, unroot process, I guess you would call it, because when you're flashing things, you never want your battery to go out. It causes undesirable consequences, and you spend lots of time fixing your phone, doing things that you probably have no idea how to do. And you'll spend a lot of time at xda-developers.com. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a phenomenal website where a bunch of Android developers and just mobile phone developers, I guess, collaborate on the new ideas. But as that copies to the root of the SD card, I'm just going to keep jibbering on until I run out of things to say. It is really cold in my house. That's why I'm shaking. Sorry, guys. Um, there we go. On to Justin's SD. It is complete. So we are going to eject Justin's SD. And we are going to turn off USB storage. Wait a second there. Alright, now here comes the fun part. We're going to reboot manually. So, here we go. Okay, there we go. And we're going to just shut down. Power it off. Your phone will shut down. Okay. And then we're going to reboot into, as we would into recovery, holding the down button and the power button, um, but it's going to go into hboot first, and it should recognize the pb31img.zip. Um, quick disclaimer here, guys. I'm really not responsible for anything you do with your phone. If you screw up, um, it's your fault. This is just guidance. Um, but uh, I hope this helps you guys if you're trying to return your phone or something. Uh, I've, sh I've sure done it before, so I know it works. Um, as you can see right now, it's checking you can't see actually because my camera doesn't have a macro but uh, it's checking the zip as you can see a little bar right there it's checking the zip making sure it's all good it's actually going to do this a second time as well which is kind of funny but whatever um, so it's going to do that real quick and then it's going to say oh it's okay and then it's going to ask you if you want to install the update so let's just give it a second here If you guys uh, look at the top line, I know you can't see it on this camera, but it'll say incredible, uh, incredible EC XC ship S on S on. It used to say S off if you guys used unrevoked, um, but now it says S on. So uh, that is what we did at the last step. If you guys are still wondering, um, yep. I know this works for the 2.2. If you guys have anything greater than a 2. Point, the 2.2 update for your HTC Incredible, I don't know how it's going to react. So if you guys have, you know, um, like a, a big, a more updated radio, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I have the radio 2.15.00.07.28, so I know it works with this. Um, I can't, you know, say for radios other than that. You can always go under your about and then software settings to check your radio if you want to see if it's similar to mine. Um, but, you know, this is just guidance. It works for me. Um, I bought my phone. It is a SLC, or not LC, S, <laughs> it's an OLED AM, AMOLED display, um, not the SLCD. I know those react different as well. So, uh, if you guys don't know what phone you have, it should be in the model number. I'm not quite sure what the model number difference is, but you'll probably see text right here saying what the model number difference is. But, uh, yeah. Once again, this is guidance. It should work, but I'm not liable if it doesn't. Anyways, okay, so you'll see here that it has six steps that it's going to go through. It says bootloader, radio version 2, point, version two boot, recovery, system, and splash. And then it'll ask you, do you want to start the update? And, uh... My ridiculously blurry camera and I are going to say yes. So we press the up volume button and it's going to restart again. I'm going to clean off my lens. There we go. All nice and clean. Okay. Still blurry. And it'll check it all over again. As you can see the little progress bar right here. 
it's still going. So we're going to wait. To be honest, guys, I have no idea why it checks twice. I guess it's just being safe in case you change something. Uh, but, you know, it's something you got to wait through. This is why I decided to not put it on at the same time as I did the S on. Because every time you boot up, it will go into this. Another thing, make sure you check um, that you uh, that you're ta make sure you take this off your SD card as soon as you're done, so you don't accidentally update or something. Because if whenever you try and boot into recovery, you'll notice that this is still on there, and you'll have to wait however long I'm gibbering on talking right now for it to uh, go through the process of checking again, and then you'll have to decline the update if you guys are, you know. Um, if you guys get a new phone and you put this SD card back in and you're trying to, you know, uh, reboot or whatever. So yeah, take it off the SD card as soon as you're done and you should be safe. If you guys don't know what I just said, um, I don't re really remember what I just said either. But I'm sure it was important. Okay, so it's done checking. It's uh, being all magical. Actually, it still says checking, but it finished with the progress bar there. So it's going to go into the unrooting process of reflashing um, a recovery, or reflashing the stock Android goodness that we all love. Ha, huh. that was a joke. It's really late, guys. It's like 1 a.m. <laughs> okay, there we go. It says update is in progress. As you'll see, it'll go through the five steps. Radio first, a boot second, recovery third, system fourth and splash fifth. Make sure no power is cut from your device, um, especially during the radio and the boot. Um, otherwise you could break your device. Like right now, I'm really nervous because if something goes off, I'm screwed. Yeah. Okay. Done with boot, done with radio. I'm happy. It's uh, unzipping the system right now as I narrate what it says on screen. As you can see, that progress bar going right up. Uh, probably should have got a tripod. My hand is really shaky. System it's going right now. It's updating. Do not power off the device, as I remind you. If you guys are doing this along with me, it's a nerve-wracking experience, but uh, it is the only way to unroot. So, let's get right through it. System by far takes the longest out of all of them. And uh, then once you're done, it'll ask you if you want to reboot, and we're going to say yes. And it should boot into stock 2.2, um, and you should have a unrooted, easily returnable to any Verizon store, um, HTC Incredible. So if you guys have issues, this is what you would want to do. Um, this is it checking for magic. Not exactly sure what this is, but it does do this. Actually, I believe that is unpacking the installation that we just did, but don't quote me on that. There we go, it's rebooting again. This is all normal, guys. As you can see, it's on the camera. And you will see the end result in a couple seconds. A long boot time is expected because of, well, it starting up again with a brand new operating system. There's the HTC Quietly Brilliant. Haven't seen that in a while. And voila, the magical droid boot screen, which I think looks pretty cool up until about this point where the eye stops moving. And it just stays there until the rest of the boot. I really think the animation should keep going, but uh, that's just me. So that is the Unroot. I'll show you guys in a sec that it is a fresh new phone. And then I'm probably going to root it again. <laughs> I don't, I don't really like stock HTC Sense. It's just not me. Ta-da! Stock. Isn't it magical? And then I'll take you through the setup and all that jazz. Which I'm not going to do any of that because I'm going to go root my phone right now. <laughs> but uh, I'll give it a sec and show you guys that it's actually stock. And it's not just stuck on this HTC screen. There we go. There is the setup. And you're back to how you were. So now you are safe to return your phone or go into Verizon and say something's broken. 
Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, once again, if you guys want to donate, that would be fantastic. If not, that's cool too. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, hey there. You can see me.